I have nothing. Nothing. I know, I know. Everyone's already made that joke. But it's not a joke. I have the nothing phone. That was our quick nothing phone to unboxing. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Today's unboxing was pretty special for me because it's the very first time I get to test out a nothing phone. And I'm always, always so excited the very first time I check out a new brand. It's like getting to know a new person, these little quirks that this brand has. But yes, yeah, so the nothing phone to the second iteration of the nothing phone. And it looks pretty similar to the first one, but but let's look at it a little bit closer. Right, so taking a look at this phone, all I can say is that this is feeling fresh. First, that was a notification. First off, this transparent back end. I know it's been said before, but I'm loving how it looks because it reminds me of the 90s. We got that nothing branding there. And of course, we've all heard about these glyph lights. So basically, this is a notification system for nothing. Um, you can even set timers here. It turns on when you charge the device. Pretty cool, huh? You can even get it to do custom notifications. So I think that's a pretty cool use of like this back area with the unique design. You have your two 50 megapixel cameras here, a dual flash. Now we have flat sides, just like the Nothing One. That is an unlock button. And that's a fingerprint scanner up front. That's a pretty snappy fingerprint scanner. And look at how nice that custom Nothing skin is. Honestly, this is not so functional for me because I can't tell the, the, the little icons if they're not different colors. And not all app icons turn out that way, but I will say it looks really, really good. I'm also a big fan of this font they're using. I feel like it's such a refreshing thing to see and it's very on brand. You also have that punch hole 32 megapixel camera front. That's a clean top. Other side gives you the volume rockers. At the bottom, you get the SIM tray, USB-C charger, speakers. Let's see. Oh, and the coolest SIM tool. Give me a second. You know I love the real me. Coke collab sim tool that looked like a bottle cap but this one like this is straight up I want to turn it into an earring I mean you guys know I already have sim tool earrings and a necklace but that's not the point the point is this is pretty sim 2 a sim 1 again that cute nothing font all throughout now this thing looks very similar to the first nothing phone but what i noticed was that this back specifically is a little curved now and i like that because i feel like it's the perfect middle ground for like very brick type like devices like these are flat sides but that slight curve on the back of the phone just helps you hold it a little bit more comfortable especially if you have tiny hands like mine that back though can't get enough of it and also let me just add that this back demands to be seen like the phone doesn't come with a case and because of that glyph notification system you know they want this back to be showing when you're on the nothing phone tour time and that's such a snappy fingerprint scanner we have photos wide 1x 2x up until 10x back to wide you have flash Ooh! did you see that how it lit up let me show you let me zoom in okay turning on the flash wait no that's just the flash oh there you go that's pretty cool so you can do a full-on flash 
you can do glyph fillite i think i'm gonna want to try this right you also have timer three seconds ten seconds you also have your diff Ooh, what is this <laughs> it looks like i'm inside a glass a drinking glass okay other different filters you have other settings so motion photo size quality so you have a 50 megapixel shooter the full resolution of the camera or a 12 megapixel mega binned photo usually um, we do 12 so you get like better detail and then you have more settings let's see shutter sound label tap to take a photo press and hold shutter i wonder if there's like a way to do like gesture selfies but i don't see that right now you have portrait and then you have retouching natural strong off let's let's turn it off you have so look look behind me everything's blurred behind me now yeah, that's 0.95 up until 16 and then you have flash settings timer settings your little filters and then you have more you have time-lapse photos and you can do 1x 2x up until 10x Ooh, I lost it where'd I go you can do a time lapse of 15 seconds to what 960 seconds and you know it suggests that you do a night sky shot moving shadow so that's nice I like when like phone suggests stuff so you know which setting to use for specific scenarios flash settings you can oh you can do time lapse in 4k as well then you have a pano you have a macro but to be honest I rarely use this mode you have an expert mode 1x 2x up until 10x and then can you do a wide there you go you can shoot raw images now let's go back to the other side hello so you have wide 1x 2x up until 10x and also you can shoot 4k 60 4k 30 oh you can do wide in 60 fps and 30 fps 4k that's pretty cool then flash settings of course oh we can shoot full on with the glyph fill lighting on 4k video that's pretty cool i mean <laughs> i just really like the glyph lighting and then here you have hdr settings recording light. oh there's a recording light let's see how that looks like Where's the record? Oh, there you go. Do you see that like little red dot? Wait, let me show you. That's the recording light. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's cool, I think. And then you have slow-mo, 1x, 2x, well, 1x and 2x, and you can shoot 4K slow-mo. That's cool. Of course, there's some selfie on slow-mo. Let's see on video. Hello. Now on here, we can shoot, oh no, 30. 60 fps but no 4k no zooming in or out as well hdr grid recording light more settings and then on photo you also have your retouching you can do a wider shot great yeah let's turn it off your timer and then filters as well and of course your portrait mode you have retouching you have an aperture of 16 to 1. Oh, do you see how blurred the back becomes? Yes. And then, yeah, that's about it. Here are some sample shots. first look at the nothing phone 2 okay a few thoughts number one i think this phone is really cool not gonna lie that back really gets me and the glyph lighting pretty cool stuff not just because it looks cool but also because i love how they added functionality to the back like for example the notifications the timer functionalities but specifically the timer for when you take photos with the phone i think this is a 
very promising device. It's fast and snappy. It feels good in hand. Also, those haptics are really nice. Plus, it's powered by a very good processor, so there's no going wrong there. Personally, I'm very curious to see how the cameras perform on this. So let me know. Let me know what you want to see me do with this phone. If you want to see a camera vlog test or a social media test, comment down below. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, that's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.